Well, I've got an emergency. My tip is dripping a little bit. At this point, I'm super concerned. Obviously not gonna be able to paint with it dripping like this. Slowing down, trying to figure out what my options are. This is not gonna work. We're gonna, we're gonna abort. Exciting day, it is finally paint day after hours and hours, I don't know, 100 hours of prep. We are finally there. We've got our paint, let's mix it up and let's get spraying. We are gonna set our gun air pressure about 30, or actually exactly 30. And then one trick I learned, there's a magic point of where the, the sound will change here, right there. So that, my understanding, that's how far away you wanna be. Right there where you hear the air change, just past that. So what is that, six inches? Just a little bit of dry practice. So one thing about hanging this, it starts swinging just from the air pressure. And the Valspar paint we're gonna be using, we're gonna mix it at a four to one to one. We're gonna use this section here. And we're not gonna use this 15%. Four to one to one. So we'll go up to like that three, that three, and then that three. All right, before we paint, we're gonna hit it a couple more times with the wax and grease remover and a couple lint-free cloths here. Give it a good wipe down. All right, you guys ready for the big reveal of the color? Let's check this out. Ta-da! <laughs> that is gonna be cool. Well, I've got an emergency. My tip is dripping a little bit. The clock is ticking. Once you have that activator, can't have that. The heck, when the tip was clean, I have no idea why that would be dripping if it's not dirty. I know it's dripping right out of the tip. Yeah, it just runs out of there. Something is wrong with my gun, that's terrible. So I've got a me huge mess here. And I've got this tip on as tight as it'll get. See, it just runs out. And the tip was clean. Yeah, it just pours right out of that tip. It's like that tip's not, and it is coming right out of that tip, so I don't know if my gun is damaged or what, but this, uh, this is not going to work. We're going to, we're going to abort, which is terrible because I'm going to lose all that paint I mixed up. It's going to be trash. Um, darn it. I gotta dump it and clean up. So the struggles of uh, doing your own paint job. <laughs> Run dishes like that and I don't know, I'll go down to the paint store, talk to those guys, ask them what their thoughts are. I might end up buying a new gun. But yeah, that tip just does not. So all of this is garbage. Wasted a whole bucket of paint. Um, I cannot paint with that, with a drippy tip, because you're getting over stuff, it'll drip, like there's no way. I don't know if I'm looking at buying a new gun. Uh, I mean, it drips even without, without being hooked up to air. So I don't know if I damage the tip of this somehow. It looks fine, no idea. A little frustrating. I think that wraps up today. Nothing else I can do until I get a new gun. Oh, leave some comments. Give me some encouragement. That's frustrating. Catch you in the next video. Okay, hold on, time out. I just went out, uh, I was using my cleaner and playing with the gun a little bit and I, it started working. Let's see. Let's see if we can make it work here. We might be back in business. These are dry, I can't have any of the lacquer thinner in there. 
Oh boy, I think I might still use that paint, but the times, the clock's ticking. That paint is only good for so long. I have all that cleaner out of there. Oh my gosh, to go from completely deflated to, well, we're not painting today. Like, oh, like I'm ready to spray. <laughs> down to, you fall off that high and you're down to all this work for, now we gotta abort, abort the mission. So now we're back at it, so, I don't know, let's give it a try. See what it does this time. Please don't leak out all over everywhere. We're not leaking. Let's practice. I'm gonna do the, I'll do the first coat this way. I have switched my tip. Sometimes horizontal like this. I'll do the next coat vertical. That's pretty good. We're not done. Something was caught in the mechanism. I think I got it resolved. There we go. My glove is tearing from the cleaner. End up with green, green hands here, but it's pricey pain. All right, that'll work. We're not dripping. Hallelujah, oh my gosh. What an ordeal. My paint comes out fast. Looking good. Oh, don't bump that. <laughs> Didn't really want to start with horizontal, but I don't want to mess with the tip right now. My pattern's a little too wide. Coat number one is done, hallelujah. It actually worked. I don't know what was going on with my gun. But good grief, we managed to work through that. I'm gonna do two more coats. Pause the camera, keep going. I'm gonna wait until, where did I start? I started on that, until I can touch it. You're supposed to be able to touch it with your glove. I gotta get new gloves. Touch it and uh, not get any paint on your finger. That's when you know you're ready to play your second coat. Should be. Oh, 10 or 15 minutes, but it's probably been about that long since I started that. So I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, hallelujah. I was able to paint. That is awesome. Super excited with how it turned out. I don't have any bad runs or anything. So thank you guys for watching. Check out the next video right here. And have a good day. Woohoo! A lot of greens.